Problem solving. Problem solving is an important skill of project leaders. Problems are constantly occurring during the project cycle. Some problems can be managed, while other problems require more time and a careful analysis in order to develop the right solution. For those difficult problems, the best tactic is to use a process approach and to form a small group of team members, subject matter experts, and even some key stakeholders who can help identify the best solution. A seven-step process can be used to help solve complex problems. It's a process approach that helps identify the problem, understand its causes, develop alternatives, choose the best solution, and implement and evaluate the results. The first step is to understand the problem. The group identifies and discusses the problem or problems to make sure that they are working on the right problem and not just a symptom. This step helps understand how the problem is perceived by all and if it needs a more complete analysis before a solution is defined. Part of this step is to properly define the scope of the problem and define if the group has the experience to propose a solution. The cause-effect analysis helps us identify the causes that lead to the problem and might even help restate the problem. A tool used in this step is the cause-effect diagram that helps identify all possible causes of a problem and the effects or short and long-term consequences of the problems if no action is taken. Because people by nature often like to jump to solve a problem, this tool can help bring out a more thorough exploration of the issues behind the problem, which will lead to a more robust solution. Once a problem is well defined, the next step is to develop a good set of viable solutions before reaching a conclusion. The group can use techniques such as brainstorming to generate ideas to solve the problem, organize ideas into categories, and eliminate solutions that don't address the root causes of the problem. The next step is to evaluate all the potential solutions to identify the best one. You can use a simple criteria to help identify the best solution by asking questions related to the feasibility of the solution, their cost benefit, risk, and timeliness. It is not useful if a solution takes too much time to implement, costs too much, or creates more problems than the one it tries to solve. Once the solutions have been evaluated against a criteria, it's time to select the best possible solution. Making the decision is not always easy. Some people may not feel that the best solution was chosen, so it's important to get their buy-in, especially from those that will be in charge of implementing it. The decision must be communicated to all people that are affected by the problem. The project leader will allocate the resources needed to implement the solution, including the people, budget, and a timeline. The implementation style requires action planning, a design of the solution so that it describes the approach to solve the problem, a plan that can advise the people responsible, the cost, and time required to implement it. The monitoring is an important last step in this process. It ensures that the actions approved to implement the solution are being carried out. There may be the need to get regular updates to monitor the progress, need for feedback and modifications to the plan. Once the solution is implemented, a simple evaluation can help identify if the problem was solved. It's also important to communicate to all involved about the success of the solution and recognize their contributions.